Pay Bills. The Pay Bills function is where you post payments for bills entered into Maxtrax Pro CE through either a restock parts invoice or by creating a new invoice in the vendor record. Remember, it's important to write those checks through the Pay Bills feature to do two things. Write the check or post the payment if you paid by cash, online, or with a company credit card, but also to clear those invoices to be paid out of your accounts payable or APs. So don't forget this step and just click on Write a Check or just make a cash payment through the cash drawer, you might already have the invoice ready to be paid under the vendor record. Let's take a look. From the toolbar, click Pay Bills to open the Bill Payment Wizard, listing all of your AP vendors with balances due, in order of vendors with the oldest invoices on top. Using these radio buttons, we can choose to view vendors with bills due through a specific date. We'll click Select, and choose the 31st from the calendar or we can just select all vendors. Now let's pick a vendor to pay by double clicking the vendor name or highlight the vendor name and click the next button down here and this is where we select which invoices to pay for this vendor. Note we can choose to sort the list by different criteria by invoice number, transaction date, just click that radio button. We'll just leave it on due date. Click in the select column next to the invoices you want to pay and as you select or tag these invoices, the net amount to pay total in the bottom right corner will keep totaling up the invoices you have tagged. We can also click the Edit Amount and Discount button to open the Edit Items screen for the highlighted invoice and edit the amount to pay. Also, if there is a purchase discount for early payment, automatically set up, it would show here, or we can manually enter or adjust it as needed. And if you have multiple purchase discount accounts for some reason, here is where you could change it on the fly. Just click Select and choose another account to post it to. Let's click the OK button to save our partial payment for this invoice. So we've tagged $362.56 to be paid on this date, today's date by default, or we could change it by clicking Select. Now, we could have used the Tag All or Untag All buttons to tag everything and see this little checkbox here? Now if CarQuest was also a customer, let's say we worked on their parts delivery truck and they had an outstanding invoice for that repair, we could check this box and the amount they owe us would show up as a credit we can use against our parts bill. Just tag that credit amount and our balance is adjusted. It also pays CarQuest's bill off in accounts receivable all in this one transaction. Now let's click Next and click the down arrow to select our payment type and we can pay by cash, check, or I have my system set up to be able to make a payment using my company credit card, my Citibank Visa. If we paid by cash, that cash payment would be listed in our cash drawer activity for the day and the amount would be automatically deducted from our cash on hand. Let's just select check and click finish. And here the write a check window opens with that check filled out and ready to go all the disbursements are already done down here. We just need to print that check now. Yet I still have a chance to click Cancel here if I needed to. Let's say I decided I wanted to use my company visa instead. Just change your payment type, click Finish, and it's posted. And this takes us back to the Pay Bills list to make some more bill payments. Now what can happen is you may forget that you've entered a bill into the system, and you might just go to Write a Check or Pay by Cash through the cash drawer or even make an adjustment through the bank reconciliation to post a payment you made. But be careful, you might be bypassing areas in the system where bills are waiting to be tagged and paid, just like we did on that CarQuest account, which ultimately ends up with you posting that expense twice, once entering the original invoice, and again making the payment and posting that expense in the system. Plus, you would have a bunch of invoices still listed to be paid under that vendor. Don't overthink it, just remember to check the vendor record first to see if there are any invoices to be paid through pay bills. And this concludes the lesson on pay bills.